right, so we decided. Wait for that tr- that fucking thing to get off. Classic plane. It's a plane. It's not that fucking thing. <laughs> that fucking, fucking thing. thing. Whatever what it is. What is this thing in the sky that's God. making this noise? Is that a bird? Is it a plane? That's a no, loud it's bird. Superman. <laughs> A classic bra moment. This is my <laughs> airspace. Get out of here. I'm recording something. All right. Well, welcome back to the park bench. Uh, today I have uh, Jenny Scary here. She's a fellow artist of mine on uh, Broken Record Music Club. Uh, this is the first time me and Jenny have met. We met, what, 45 minutes ago? Yeah, dude. I don't really have a concept of time, but feels like Ish. if you say it's 45 it's 45 yeah i think it was but so this is gonna be a fun episode because we've uh never written together before and i'm pretty excited about that uh before we get started in that i want to get to know jenny a little more so just uh tell us a little about yourself your musical journey stuff like that yeah so i have kind of deemed myself as like a master or a jack of all trades master of none but better than being a master of one true um i've like my whole life kind of been all over the place doing a lot of different things. Um, the two staples in my life have been soccer and music. Those have been like the things that I've always done. Um, but soccer kind of took up a lot of my life and I ended up playing, I went to, so I went to school at ISU for college. I did my undergrad there. And then I got my master's there in political science. Um, I just graduated in May. But during my undergrad, I was on the soccer team, um, which, dude, (laughs) are we allowed to swear on this? Absolutely. Okay, sick. Um, That shit was crazy, and it took up so much time. It was, like, I think worse than having a, way worse than having, like, a full-time job. (laughs) Um, I didn't play college sports. I joined the Navy. Okay, that, Booyah, that's see. pretty lit. Um, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, college soccer was crazy, and it kind of didn't leave room for anything else. Um, so music kind of got put on the back burner, but also was like always something I went back to in college. Um, but I started playing music. Dude, I've been like banging on shit since I was... Since I was a baby, my mom um, finally convinced my dad in fourth grade to buy me a drum set because I was just, I was banging on all her shit. I was the type of kid, like <laughs> me and the other, me and a few other kids in my class, we were the ones to get the pens out and like make the beats with our pens. Oh, I did that too. Yeah. Um, I had a drum so, set when I was young as well. Yeah. I don't know how I convinced my parents to do that. Yeah. My dad works from home, out. so I don't know how he, conv- how my mom convinced him. I think it lasted one week before they got me those pads, those silencer okay, pads. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, this isn't fun anymore. And I think I stopped playing after yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but the drums, so I started playing that in fourth grade. And those are, that's my first instrument. So besides singing, like, that's what I'm best at and what I feel most comfortable in. Um, and so I started playing drum set. And then I lied my way into band in fifth grade. Um, I didn't take two years of piano. And you had to take two years of piano in, in order to join percussion. So I didn't audition in fourth grade because I didn't have the credentials. And then in fifth grade, we were in music class. And the band teacher came in. He was like, yo, like we got some open spots left. Like, Does anybody else want to join band? So I raised my hand. He took us. Everybody raised their hand. He took us out in the hall. He asked us what we want to play. I was like, I want to do percussion. And he was like, did you take two years of piano? And <laughs> and um, I was like, my mom's teaching me. And he's like, okay, bet. And I was in. I just <laughs> lied. I, like, she was teaching me, but it had been like two Your weeks. teacher's going to see this and be really upset with you. <laughs> if, if Mr. Sostek from fifth grade band sees this, <laughs> that's okay. If Sorry, you are Mr. Sostek. this, leave it in the comments. <laughs> we'll send you a t-shirt. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was in band, and then I joined marching band. And, or I was in jazz band in middle school and high school. Or actually, no, I didn't do jazz band in high school. But I did that all through middle school. And then um, in high school, I joined marching band, and I was on drum line. And I was, in, I was in front ensemble my first year, and I played the vibraphone. And then the second year, I was on drum line. That was sick. Marching band is so dope and way harder than you would think. Um, 
like the people who are like marching band is a sport yes marching band Shout is marching a band. sport um that was so fun but then i had to quit because i was getting like really serious with soccer and college recruitment was starting so um it's always it a was, tough thing yeah. like i played hockey growing up and i did play a little band when i was in like grade school fifth grade saxophone for like three or four years and then i got to high school and i was fortunate enough to make the varsity hockey team and they made me a captain and all this stuff nice, and it was like yeah. And I played defense, and I loved the sport, and it was, like, so hard to, like, find that balance. Mm-hmm. And then it just fallen to the wayside. Music, like I have mentioned before, it didn't find me until I was in my late 20s. Oh, really? Yeah, I started wow. playing six years ago this month. September was wow. the first time I played played guitar. So, you know, Damn, I understand dude. that that whole that whole sport balance. And, Damn. Yeah. and then that was the Navy, and that took, you know, they say you're a sailor 24-7. So there was really no no time to to do what i yeah ultimately wanted exactly. to do exactly but i started um so i started writing songs i got my first guitar in high school when i was like 15 um and Celsius, if you want to sponsor the uh the podcast <laughs> i drink one every single episode <laughs> um i started writing when i was 15 got my first guitar cuz i was i was like a closet i was a closeted singer um I was so shy about it and but I knew I I was like I I knew I was I had something mm-hmm. and I knew like okay if I just I I had like written this piece of poetry and I was like if I could get a guitar it would be like lights out man so I got I a guitar you, I don't know if you can really write with a drum kit so you you're can, smacking on the drums and just like, singing it's along it's not the same <laughs> but um so my mom bought me my first guitar I learned I first learned Broad Ripple is Burning by Margot and the Nuclear So-and-Sos. That was the first song I learned. Mine so was I Hurt by Johnny Cash. Really? That's the first one I learned. Um, so it has the chords G and C in it, and so I learned those chords. And then my first song, Mine, which is on Spotify now, it's so cool, like how it came full circle. But um, It is weird. It's like, literally it's just, just G and C the, the whole the time. It's the strangest thing. Yeah. You know, you grow up. Seeing people play music, you know, you, you, I think most people who are artists at one point or another had the idea in their mind, they're like, I want to do that, yeah. you know, and then, you know, I was always a creative writer, I never wrote poetry, but I would write in school, like, I loved creative writing, like, they gave me a topic, and they said, go, go with yeah. it, and, you know, I never thought I could write a song, and then, you know, you do it, and then you play it, and people like it, and then yeah. it gets recorded, and then now it's out there in the yeah. ether for everyone to hear yeah. f- forever, even long after you're gone. It is like a weird full it's circle, so magical cool. moment that happens when you get to do that. Yeah, dude, writing, like, music, uh, I added this in, like, anything else you want to add, but music is, like, that's something I've kind of realized lately is just creativi- creativity and creation in general is, like, magic man like oh, yeah. i don't Absolutely. know where how what's your songwriting process like what do you what are your steps like what do you do i was i don't know like it just shows they're about up. to find out what you do it, it just like i don't it just shows up like i don't yeah. i'm playing some chords and then something pops in my head and i'm like that would be cool and then i just yeah, there it how, is a lot of like, times that's how it happens a lot of times yeah. it's like i mean people have asked me like well how do you do it it's a big it's a big reason we started the podcast is like everyone's different like yeah. people have they put time limits on it like some people like have an idea that sits in their phones for two years and then mm-hmm. come back to it some people like one of my songs i just had this and i have another one that i've been playing with like crazy that i need to just write something about yeah so i stopped playing and i can move on to the next yeah thing yeah you know and that was my one of my songs thank you that was how it was i was just playing this finger picking pattern for months and i was like all right, I got to stop doing this because yeah, I, I need to yeah. move on from this. And so I just grabbed a piece of paper and the song wrote itself in 45 minutes. And yeah. then it's like, all right, on to the next one. There we go. And yeah. you put it out there and you get to enjoy it. And it's it's fun, too. I like, I don't know if you do this, but I enjoy going back and listening to those earlier works and being like, mm-hmm. you know, because when you're, when you're singing every day, like you don't see the growth until you go back. Like, yeah. Like the, the coolest ones are like Facebook memories. Dude, I got my shit on SoundCloud from, like, 2016. I still have my shit on there. Yeah, and you go back and listen, you're like, oh, my God. I was like, people liked this back then? Yeah. Like, and then you listen to yourself now, and you're like, wow, I got so much better. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I know you mentioned some artists. So who are some of your, your favorite artist influences? Like, so I grew up When you're looking for inspiration, who do you listen to? I, it, it kind of depends, honestly, in, in terms of inspiration. Like, um, one song I, well, I'll just say, I grew up listening to the True Oldies channel with my dad on the radio. Um, he would take us out, uh, me and my sister, he would take us out to lunch every Saturday, and he would never let us touch the radio. He was like, I'm going to show you these songs, and he would play the True, Old, True Oldies channel. So it was like Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, a lot of Bruce Springsteen. My dad loved. He has a whole wall in our basement. It's called, my pop-pop calls it the left-wing wall because Bruce Springsteen's a Democrat. Um, but it's the whole wall is just Bruce Springsteen albums and like this giant picture of Bruce Springsteen playing the guitar. It's so cool. I love that. Have you seen, you watch that thing on Netflix? I don't know where it is now, but it's that uh, Bruce Springsteen on Broadway. No, what? Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely show it to, to your, your dad because it's like, he sings like, it's like two hours long and he sings like 20 of his songs, but it's like Damn. this train of thought thing where he's just explaining every single song okay like yeah, he stops yeah, the yeah. song it's like a story it's yeah, almost like his yeah. western stars movie like the whole thing is just a st- it's it's awesome i i put it on like i think it was like five years ago like when i was kind of because when i first started out i was trying to consume as much knowledge as i possibly could mm-hmm. i watched every single music documentary i could dude that's what i've been doing and, yeah and and that was kind of my it's when, so I, cool. when i when i wrote i would put that on yeah and that that's was kind of like my idea. background noise that inspiration that specific one no, or just, just in general, just okay, a yeah, documentary yeah. of somebody that I was interested in, whether it be, you know, Devil at the Crossroads, the Robert Johnson story, like yeah. more bluesy, you know, Johnny Cash. Uh, one of my favorites is is the Garth Brooks one, this this Road I'm on, uh, yeah. that's on Netflix right now, and just put it on the I background, wish. hear about their story. It just it just gets that's the creative dope. juices yeah. juices going. That's so. There's this really okay. The album that I'm super into right now is Olivia Rodrigo's Guts album, bro. Olivia Rodrigo. Is that the Rodrigo? A, B, C, D, F, U song on there? No, that's not her. A, B, C, D. Wait, no. No, that's not her. You sure? Yeah. I, I, know what you're, I know what you're talking about. A, yeah, that's not her, but I can't remember who that's a, by. It's not F, her. you and your mom and your sister and your dog. Is that her? No, that's not her. Who no. is that? I, I don't know, <laughs> but I... Is this like Joe is Rogan? This, like, can this, we ask? Can we go? Yeah, we can ask Marco. Google. Totally, yeah. Can you Google it? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to put this in there. I'm going to figure it out. Yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but anyway. Remember the Mandela she, Effect moment? Yeah. Because that song is so like, I don't know if you plug in your, your phone into your car, but like every time I plug my phone into my truck, the automatic like A starts. Oh, is it so that like, song? A team. Dude. Is the first song I have given. I have given Ed Sheeran about oh two thousand listens yeah. on Apple Music, <laughs> and then it's uh, Abby by I think Travis Denning, country singer, and then it's the all ABC. three versions of ABDC. Yeah. There's like an angry version, a chiller version, and right. the original <laughs> version. <laughs> but uh, so Olivia has a. There's a similar documentary um, about her first album, Sour. That's on, on Disney, right? Yeah, it's on yeah, Disney. I haven't watched that one Dude, yet, but I'm going it to. It is so like. I I like res- I wasn't super into her music. I like new driver's license and I had like heard some songs oh, okay. on the radio, but I watched that documentary and I was like, yo, like that's a great this song. kid knows how to write a song, bro. So that's like when I when I'm getting more into like mixing and mastering and making sure my music sounds right, like her her album, I like the way that it's mixed. Um so I've kind of been using that as like a reference. Um but other like like I said, I grew up listening to those older artists. Um but the stuff I started listening to as I got older was like Young the Giant was my first favorite band. I love I still love Young the Giant. Their new album, the it's like a four part Bollywood I think it's Bollywood. I forget the name of the album, but it's so good. Um and then Tame Impala, I love how he uses, I, I just love the synth. Like, that's so, I just love that in his song. It sounds so cool. And he's, like, I mean, one of the best I've heard with it. Um, and then I listen to DJ O, who's, he's Steve on Stranger Things, DJ O. And he I've makes, he, he <laughs> guys, Steve from Stranger Things, DJ O, makes insane music. Like, his, his Decide album is my, I have, he's like top three, 
That I'm check all that these album, Declan McKenna's Zeros album, um, and I don't have a third. Those are my top two. All right. Well, we've but plugged a lot of other artists. Yeah. So let's hear about your music. My music. Tell me what you get out. Tell me what your favorite single is. Um, my favorite. So I have four singles out right now. Um, they're on everywhere. They're everywhere on all streaming platforms. I use Spotify. That's my like go to. Um, but my favorite that's out is Bottom of the Ocean. That track is like. So I put out Sad Love Song first. And that one I literally found. I just found it on my computer. It would not be a podcast episode without a train. Literally. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, I found that computer, or I found that that track. We were me and my friend Emma recorded it live, oh, like three or four years ago, and the sound quality was shit. But I just threw it up there anyway. I was like, why not? Um, and then I put up mine, the first song I wrote. I like put. It used to just be me and the guitar, but I like put a uh, kind of an orchestral backing to it and added drums. It sounds so great now. Um, and then I put out Bottom of the Ocean, who my friend Kai Larson, he produced that. Me and him worked on that track for like two years, dude. It was like, it got deleted. The fi- We worked on it for like six months. The file got deleted. We put it off. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, Marco? Yeah. Dude. I have so many horror stories. God. Like that. Oh my god! I was like, <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad we redid it because I matured. Like I matured in my own self and just as a singer in general. So I'm glad that we redid it. Ultimately, it is um, a tough thing. There's, yeah. You know, like talking about the growth before. It's like yeah. Sometimes you're like, man, should I cut it again? I do it so much differently now because I've played it for two years. Yeah, out. yeah. And like I've evolved so much. Like I exactly. put it in a place I couldn't go to before I can go to now. Exactly. Which is kind of the beauty of being like where we are in music. You know, you put it out, some people hear it, but like you put it out again. And maybe yeah. those same people will hear it, but other people might hear it. Yeah, you know? exactly. So exactly. You have that freedom to do that. Yeah. Um. The last track that I have out that I uh, put it out in July is called Physics of Accompaniment. So that song and mine I had on SoundCloud and I put those on SoundCloud in like 2019. I, I put mine on like in 26 or 17. But then I re-recorded those songs and I put them on SoundCloud and they low-key like kind of blew up randomly. Like my, or physic, one of them got like 22,000 plays and then the other one got like 12,000 plays. I was like, yo, that's dope. That is um, cool. But, yeah, so physics is, I'm putting out actually an acoustic version of physics on Friday, the 29th. That was my next question. So what, what's what's next uh, for releases and stuff like that? So on, on Friday, I'm putting out that. Um, it's just, low-key, I did add an, an 808 bass on the bottom, just like in the chorus and... Uh, not the first verse, but like the, the rest of it, I I added uh, just to because it was it's just me and the uke, but I needed that like low end to kind of round mm-hmm. it out, so I added that. It sounds a lot better with it. Um, so that's coming out on Friday, and then I have a, a I haven't like announced it yet, but I'm on October twenty seventh. You're announcing it now. I'm, I guess so. <laughs> I'm putting out um, this. It's kind of more poppy than I usually go. <sighs> so good my friend Todd who I was in marching band with he came over and um we just started writing and he I was playing these chords and he was like yo that's sick we we laid that down and then he put the drums down and it's it's sound this song is basically about like going on a three-week bender like going on a bender nice. and just like partying and making bad choices but you're having so much fun um but like is called not again because it's it's like oh shit like i did that again like i talked to that person again i did i lost my wallet again like i went out again like not again (laughs) um so that's coming out on october 27th and it's it's got like a like a the kick in the bass line makes it sound kind of like you're at a club a little bit 
um, which is multifaceted. Yeah, it's, it's like a Swiss Army knife song. Yeah, it's it's diff it's definitely different from all the other stuff that I've made, but those are the best. I mean, it's not too different, but it I like that element to it because it is where like if you're on a bender, that's where you would be. It would be like a club mm. where you'd be out like with a boom 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 boom. You know, I go like on a, benders and I go fishing. Okay, well, you're. Drink a lot You're of beer you. <laughs> Classic. There's <laughs> also a fishing. Did you see that river over there? I need to go. Yeah. I haven't gone yet. There's a lot it's, of people it's fishing. It's really over good, there. actually. Are they fishing today? It's yeah, not, there's it's, a ton it's of not people that fishing. Great today. I was looking at my radar earlier. You not a lot of fish? No, you have a fish I have radar? a fish radar, yes. And it tells <laughs> you, like, the, based on the weather patterns and yeah. stuff. Um, and you haven't told me yeah. about this? <laughs> Dude. We've caught so much fish over there. It's For like, real? Yeah. What kind? Uh, tons of bluegill, tons of bass. Um, I just want to get a little canoe, though, because I want there's a bend that I want to kind of sneak around because you can't access it by foot, and I know there's probably tons and tons of stuff hanging out. I have an actual oh, boat yeah. we can use. There you go. Dude, can I come? Sure. Yeah. Okay, lit. I the more the we'll, we'll, we'll bring the mics out. We'll, we'll do a, a podcast fishing. episode while we're fishing. Hell yeah. All right, so a co- couple more things. They need to know where to find you. So what are your socials? How, how can oh. they find your music? How can they find you on you know, whatever socials you have? Everyone's different. My music is on everything. If you just look up Jenny Scara, J-E-N-N-Y-S-C-A-R-A, um, you'll find me. Um, my socials, I'm only 25, so I got, like, everything. I have Facebook. Nice. Facebook, I don't have, like, a music Facebook. I kind of just transferred all my personal profiles to... Because I already had a following on there, so I was like, well, I might as well just keep this and start doing music on this. Um, so I don't necessarily know how to make my Facebook to a, like a music, like a page. But I have that. You can add me as a friend, I guess. Um, Instagram is low-key where I post everything. That's Jenny Scara underscore eight six. Um, that's like where I make my announcement. I feel like that's where everybody is. It kind of feels like a hub. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel very like out in the open on Instagram. Uh, I I have a Twitter. I, everything got kind of fucked with Twitter, and now it's like X. And I just think it's stupid now. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Elon. Yeah, like don't shadow ban. I, it's and my fourteen it's followers that, need to see me on Twitter. <laughs> it's not that I like. I, like a lot of people have a problem with Elon Musk. They're like he did the blah blah blah. It's not that. Honestly, like I didn't like it before all that happened. Like I stopped liking it. I I don't know. I got high one time and I was looking at it and I was like all these people are just like talk like what is this? Why why do I They're care? Tweeting. They're like burped. it's just like a I, I I can't even describe how I saw it, but I was like this is dumb and I stopped going on it and then it got changed to X. But anyway, so I don't post I don't post on Twitter, but it's at yo kids it's Jenny. Um and then I have a TikTok. I do be posting on TikTok. Um that's the same as my Instagram, Jenny Scara underscore eight six. Um, yeah, TikTok is. I I don't know. I feel like I'm t- I'm not technically a millennial. I'm not technically Gen Z, but on TikTok, I feel like such a millennial on there. Like I don't. Ju- I don't I, know what I'm doing on TikTok. I feel <laughs> like it, you said Instagram and Facebook are like the main hubs. Yeah. Where I post all my shows and stuff, and then TikTok's kind of like that, like put it all on black kind of thing, and like post videos and hopefully yeah. just. Gets into I the just algorithm, like, and the next thing you know, you have all these followers. So it's kind of like, I just, I'll just don't take a, I'll know. sprinkle a little bit of my. I don't know like what retirement. TikTok wants me to post. Like, I look, I have like the creator portal, and it's like, um, inspiration for videos like yours. And it's all these like weird ass videos of people doing like, it's supposed to be funny, but it's stupid. I was like, is this what TikTok is categorizing me at? Like, should I post this kind of stuff? That's, that's I don't life really nowadays. know. I I don't know. But anyway, I digr- I digress. Um. The only other thing I wanted to expand upon about myself, which is big in my personal life, is like education. Oh, and meditation. Those two things I didn't really talk about. But education, like I said, I got my master's degree in political science. I love learning, bro. That shit is so fun. Like, and not just political science, but everything. Like, I be learning about neurobiology. I'm learning about, like, astrophysics. Excuse me. I'm learning about... Uh, 
biology, neuro. Did I say neurobiology already? I Don't love I like I love neuro. Like Andrew Huberman's Bye. podcast. Shout out to him. I love that podcast. He's got a great podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. good. And just like history, I love learning. Um, like I said, jack of all trades. I I I learn. I get this from my mom. I pick up on things very quickly. So I know a little bit about a shit ton, um, which is dope. Uh, the other thing that I'm, that's like a huge part of my life is meditation. That like hands down when I started meditating changed my life. Like I, pre-meditation me and post-meditation me are like, it, not two different people, but like I'm so, I feel so much more confident and like present in myself. Um, yeah, man, meditate, like, meditation, I will, I will plug that all day long. Let's meditate after this. I'd be, I would be down. Let's do it. Want to write a song? Yeah, hell Let's yeah. Let's do it. Let. All right, so we're going to do things a little different uh, this time around. Uh, me and Jenny spoke a couple days ago about uh, some ideas, and uh, she had mentioned that she had uh, a chorus pretty much done in a hook and wasn't really sure where to go from there, so uh, we're going to take that and uh, try to build around it. Uh, we're going to figure out a direction, first lines, you know, bridge, whatever the song needs. But uh, Jenny, I'll pass it over to you if you want to talk about the song a little bit and then, you know, play it and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Um, the song, I mean, I, I, I can't remember if we said this earlier or if it was like, when we weren't recording, but this song, like m my songwriting process, I don't know where, oh, I did say this earlier. I don't know where it came from. Like I really, I was playing, I was just playing my guitar with my friends. Um, we were hanging out and my guitar player was there in my band. And so we had our guitars and I just started. So I started playing that, and I just was like, that's pretty sick. And then my lyrics come last. My melody comes first. So I got this little, like, <laughs> so I kept kind of singing that, but then it came out as, um, I can't break, you got me shaking, I'm down onto my knees, begging please, baby, don't you fool around. Cause I ain't got no time It's my eyes open wide So please don't shake me I'm not breaking I just hope I survive the night Yeah I like it So that's But then I tried to I was like okay Verse time Where should where should we go? I could I was like okay This is not The chorus came through But nothing else did We wrote, we wrote them down Let me look at the lyrics Basically kind of about um, somebody, like it's sort of a relationship type thing, but it's more like this person's bad for you, but they're like, like you're like, dude, don't fool around. For me, like in my personal experience. What about it not being a person? You talked about the hmm. song about going on a bender. What if it's like alcohol? Just a thought. Dang. Like you can make it more like a, instead of a person, it could be, you know, kind of like going on the bender. Like, I'm doing this again. I don't want to do this again. Hmm. See, the only thing is, like, I don't, like, that song kind of came through. I don't really go, like, honestly, I don't really go on benders. It just felt like. It's, I just, we like, just, but. I'm just bringing it up. But I kind of like it. I mean, the first verse could be very, like, uh obscure yeah yeah that's usually how my first verses are i'm you like know, i don't know like, where this is going but it's going to turn into something and like then it's you know friday night or something something like it's yeah you can make it sound like you're out with somebody but then the second verse rolls in and you right. can bring it back to something else sort of like i guess not just alcohol but like any sort of 
like substance in general that you're like, fuck, I should be like, don't tempt me. Mm -hmm. Don't get tempted. Oh shit. Like I just hope that I survive the night and I don't go overboard or whatever the problem is. Mm -hmm. And then it can also just really, I mean, that would just relate to a person as well. Yeah, is there, uh, I, I think I mentioned this before when you sent me the, the demo of it. Uh, I mean, do we want to do like a, a halftime thing in the, the verses? And then you crank it up in the chorus and that tempo change? See, the only thing is I can't think of anything that... I, I would need you to help me because I don't... I need... I need um. Spark of ideas, assistance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like it's a song that should start with the chorus. You know, just everything comes yeah. in with I the agree. chorus. Yes. And then you can just keep. I yeah. would say just keep the energy up, and you can just kind of go right into the verse. Yeah. You know. Another idea. Or you know, we could just keep those chords going. That's what I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, just to keep that energy up. Because yeah, once yeah, you yeah. start there, like, you don't want to come down, and you know what I mean? Yeah, like, maybe, a I think... That's a much better idea. Yeah. You know, if you're going to start with that, yes, definitely keep it up. And maybe, like, you could do, like, a bridge where it's broken down a little bit. We could even do, like... Because I do, like, I don't want it to be the same level the whole time, so even... As compared to... You that, know? or even I was thinking too, you could, because uh, you have the, the cool strum pattern, then for the verses, maybe just to give it some more space and just maybe just hitting a bump, bump, just kind of raking those strings. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of doing that on the, on the B minor. I get those nice harmonics in there. You hear that? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's dope, Loki. <laughs> you might have even just written a bridge too, like that. Just co the one oh. chord bridge can be a really easy change. It. Just build it up. I feel like for the bridge, we should go into halftime. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just as you're playing, I'm thinking of uh I think I think we should just just decide what we want to to go with if we want to go with a person, a thing, or just completely obscure, you know. I'd say let's just for I mean for me like I usually just go obscure and then it turns into something. So how about we, I'll write from there and then you write from the alcohol and we'll see where it goes. Okay. Yeah. What did I just play? I'm breaking my own lines. I'm that is cool. I like that. I'm breaking all the rules. Making myself. I'm breaking all the rules. Playing me a fool, but I. I'm breaking all my rules. Playing me a fool. I can't see. I like that. Going from that. That's sick. Or is it I'm breaking all my rules? Yeah. I'm breaking all my rules. Playing, playing. I really, I, I, uh, I'm stronger than this, but I seem to forget it. I see is that I can't uh, break and I'm breaking all the rules, which is fine. I think having it in there twice, but I think we should space it out. That might be like a later. Well, this line. would be at the very beginning, and then this would 
this would be like the first song in the chorus. You think? Like that would be pretty spaced out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you're talking to the mic though. If you oh, can. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that, would be be the, it, that would be at the that would be at the um the breaking thing. Yes. That uh, I'm thinking that'd be at the beginning. And then the we, we wouldn't see the chorus or No, this would be the like the first verse. I'm breaking all the rules. And then we go through the first verse, and then we wouldn't say break again till the chorus. That's fine. Yeah. That's a great line to start off the verse with. I'm breaking my own rules. Oh, that would be cool if you started the second verse with this. Because you said, I'm breaking all the rules. I'm breaking my own rules. Breaking all the rules. I'm breaking all my rules. Hmm. That's a good lyric. Yeah, it's a good lyric. I kind of just like I'm breaking all my rules. Breaking all the, I guess all the rules. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking writing all down my the song. rules. Don't worry, I got it recorded. Play yeah. me, fool. Fool. What was your line? Uh, I'm stronger than this, but I seem to forget it. I know I'm stronger than this, but I seem to forget it. I'm you can shorten that up too, stronger I'm, than this. Yeah, I'm trying to think, because I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Am I strong enough? I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Stronger than the, stronger than the fool. Stronger than I used to. That's what I'm, th I'm for Strong some reason I'm going there in my head. I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Stronger oh, than I used, used to, to be. be. Yeah! <laughs> I'm breaking all my rules, playing me a fool, stronger than I used to be. Or should it be a question? Am I stronger than I used to be? I like that. I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool, playing me a fool. Am I stronger than I used to be? That's dope. Yeah. <laughs> That's so dope. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Questions turn to doubt. Breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Stronger than I used to be. Questions of doubt raising. Questions of doubt raising. Questions of doubt raising. Cool cake. How about this? So, uh, questions turn to doubt. My mind is giving me the runabout. I want to rhyme. F I want to keep the ooh going, like that ooh rhyme. I was thinking, um, shit, what did I just say? Say your thing again. So I said, questions turn to doubt. My mind is giving me the runabout. And then you go I right back into the chorus. I can't break. You know, like. Mm. I don't think that. I think that's. I think the chorus is catchy enough that if we just put like two or three lines in between here. I think that's going to be the key. Hammer this chorus home. Is it that's the catchy yeah. part to it. So I think you just need to get right back into that chorus right away. I was thinking questions of doubt raising cool cases outrage and bound something like that. That's cool. Questions of doubt raising Loose questions of doubt raising cool. Booze. Questions of doubt raising booze chasing clap. Not clout. I can't. <laughs> That's too cringe. <laughs> questions of doubt raising booze chasing. Clout? Booze chasing clout? outrage. Clout. No, no clout. It's too. It's. I no. can't put that in the song. It's way too cringe. <laughs> okay, just, um, just what rhymed with booze, it. Booze chasing. 
booze chase, and outrage. Questions of doubt, wait. Questions of doubt raising, booze chasing. What did I say? Outrage. Something. Questions of doubt raising, booze chasing, outraging. I take a lot of my like lyrical. I love the way super random. I I didn't say this earlier, but we love super random. Um, I. The two people that I take my like lyrical rhymes from are Eminem and Shane Coizan, who's like this. Is he French? N- I don't know. Uh, he's Canadian, so maybe he's French Canadian. But Coizan. Um, he. I just like love the way that I love to say their lyrics. Well, he's a, he's more of a Shane is more of a poet. I found him on SoundCloud like in 2015. Um, I was all about SoundCloud in high school. Um, but I love the way that he and Eminem just like take those weird rhymes with, uh, like that's where I kind of get my No, I like it. And I think, honestly, I think once we get this last line buttoned in, we can go right back into the chorus. Mm-hmm. Um, Why don't we leave him on a little bit of a cliffhanger? Of outrage and booze chasing. Did you like outrage or should we change that? I like the outrage. Yeah? I keep wanting you to say chasing cows, though, for some reason. Bruh. Booze chasing, cows raising. Cow I wrote a country <laughs> I wrote a country song with my friend Kyle in in high school. And it's called Sally Betty Sue. Um, and it's there's a line about cows. It's like uh I'm not draining corn husker horse rider, wheat pick and finger licking tallywagger Christian girl. Uh, uh. The freckles on her face and her hair and her braids and a rope around her waist. Her laugh is a cackle as she's roping in the cattle. Her favorite are Mary and Grace. That's her great. smiles as bright as the sun in the sky. Oh, and don't you know why? What about hope straining? Strain. Questions of doubt raising. Questions of doubt raising. Booze chasing. Hope straining. Booze chasing. Hope draining out of my. Yeah. Hope draining. Booze chasing. Hope draining out of my. Out of my. Out of my. Booze chasing. What was the line? Draining. Questions what? of doubt raising, booze chasing, hope straining booze out of my chasing. mind. No, I think I'm going to change it. Wait. Booze chasing. What What draining? What's draining? Hope. Booze chasing, hope draining out of my, oh my. Boo- and you go in the chorus there. Well, I'm going to add a little like, out of my, oh my. What a buzz of buy. And then the chorus. Uh, wait. Booze chasing. Hope draining out in my oh my. You could switch that for the second verse too. Booze draining, hope chasing. Booze draining, hope chasing. To outrage? No, no, no. Or I what mean, do you it, mean? Ju- it just works both ways, I feel like. Hope draining, booze chasing. That? No, like booze draining. Hope chasing. Oh, booze draining. Yeah. Like a, yeah, like, like chasing. A, little, a little twist in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I did that in Not Again. Uh in the pre chorus. I like do a little switch up with the lyrics. Um Oh wait, no, it's the be- it's the end of the the verse. Um is it okay if I get off track like this? Because I will. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um this place my cool again, a fool shandy. No. Um, shit, I can't remember how it even starts. The Is anyone out there? I thought I saw myself pretending to be somebody else somewhere again. Oh, God, who could that be? I find it a little harder to breathe in the room I made myself into. I'm feeling double, or I'm seeing double. Am I in trouble if I feel nothing to lose? And then the second time it's, uh, I'm seeing trouble. Am I in double or nothing if I can't lose? I switched it up. That was nice. Cool. Anyway, um, 
I think we should just take a second and look at this, and then we'll come back to it here in a second. We'll get it. We we'll figure, figure out what we want to do with that last line, then we'll come back to it, and we'll have it all buttoned up, and then we'll work on the yeah. second, third verse, second verse. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So we uh, we buttoned up that that verse. Um, so uh, Jenny's gonna play through uh, some permutation of the verse and the chorus, and then we'll we'll roll on to uh, writing the second verse yeah. on here. I'm gonna just keep these right here. That's fine. Just in case I yeah, forget. Yeah, totally fine. Um. I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Am I stronger than I used to be? Questions of doubt, raising booze, chasing hope, draining out of my own mind, my own oh mind. Can't break, you got me shaking I'm down onto my knees Begging please, baby, don't you fool around on me Cause I ain't got no time Cause my eyes open wide So please don't shake me, I'm not breaking I just hope that I survive the night Night Something like that Yeah Hell yeah That's dope it is. So you say you, you think you change keys? Do I change keys there? Marco? Uh, what, when are, I, what are the chords though? So the chorus chords are... <laughs> and then I go... Oh, or am I just like... No, oh yeah, I mean, that's a... It's like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Very, fairly obvious one just because you have the major and minor. Yeah. Okay. I think you do change keys um, just in the progression alone, but yeah. In here? Really? Yeah, because that first that you go up to, the and then, then you go to a major after that. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I guess it depends on how you look at it. No. Oh, oh no, yeah, technically you do, because that chord that comes would technically be a half diminished or like a minor chord before you get back up to that. Yeah, but. Anyway, it sounds good. It sounds good. No, it does. I'm saying yeah, I'm we doing all out that the, the transition. Music. I'm doing all that music theory stuff on purpose for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely on purpose. One of my first songs <laughs> I ever recorded, The Charade, I went to the studio in Nashville. And he's like, you changed keys in this like seven times. And I was like, I'm sorry. He's like, no, that's good. He's like, it sounds fine. He's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, sometimes he's like, sometimes ignorance is bliss. You don't yeah. know the rules and you break the rules and it yeah. sounds good and it makes something really unique. Hell yeah. So the only reason I was asking is just trying to figure out what a transitional chord would be to get into the courses. Oh yeah, I was playing, so so this is the verse. And then I was up. I like that. Yeah. Cool. All right, so Hell verse yeah. two. Lit. So I'm assuming we want to keep the same rhyming structure. I think it's yeah. very, very good. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. You mentioned temptation. Yeah, I think we should put that where, where questions is in the first okay. verse. Yeah. Let's try to piece it together. I'll, yeah. I'll start writing, and you want to play, and we'll just kind of do the same thing we did before. We'll kind of just think hopefully things will just come in the same yeah. way they did before. Yeah. Um, should we keep the same, ri like the same rhyme scheme? Like, should I start with another I? Uh, we have to. Why? Or something like that. Or maybe like, all the while I'm just something like that. All the time. All time. Yeah, I think like I said, these verses are going to be stepping stones back to the chorus. You know, so I think... I was gonna say you can even probably just cut this verse in half if you wanted to, you know. Let's get right back. Mm -hmm. All the while. I'm just I'm thinking of it like I said before, like as a writer, creative writer, telling the story. I'm trying to figure out where we go to next mm -hmm. in the verse. It doesn't have to be very far. Mm -hmm. It could be just an elaboration of what we spoke to before, but just trying to figure out the best way to 
yeah, tie it back in, even yeah. if it's just a couple lines. I'm kind of on the alcohol scheme right now with you. I'm kind yeah. of in that boat now, yeah. So, so or just like we have the booze temptation there, and so. yeah, temptation and like substance. And I like what temptation. we said before uh, about changing. Uh, what did I write that up? So, uh, you know, how Marcus said, booze draining, hope chasing, doing oh, that switch. That. Yeah. You know, like evolving into something else. Like, and I mean, we could even keep the "Am I stronger than I used to be?" and say, "I am stronger than I used to be." Are we making this hopeful? Hmm? I I, I kind of think we should make it like not hopeful. I love depressing songs. Yeah. Big fan. Like, Big like, that, fan. like the substances are winning. What if you just said I ain't as strong as I used to be? Uh, I, guess I, I, guess, I guess I guess I guess I'm not as strong as I used to be. Something like that, you know. I, it's kind of cool, where it's like, yeah. Uh, Guess it is in my time to fly. No, I like that idea though. I ain't, I ain't stronger than I used to be. You're just giving, yeah. you're, you're succumbing to what is going on. Like, yeah, the only thing is the rhyming scheme. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out the first line right now. Yeah, that's why I was, uh, I, what did I say? I, I mean, you could do the temptation line at the beginning, like, temptations are too strong. Like, so I'm breaking my own rules. Do you want that to be the same? You want the you to rhyme with? I don't know. I don't, not necessarily. I kind of like the I because I like Temptation the Temptation is too strong. I'm too far gone. Temptation too strong. I'm too far gone. Temptation too strong and I'm way too far gone. Yeah. Like that? Temptation's too strong and I'm way too far gone. But and the I, only thing I, I ain't as strong as I used to be right after that. Temptation, temptation too strong and what did I say? I am too uh, way too far gone. Temptation too strong and I'm way too far gone and I. Temptation too strong and I way too far gone and I any stronger than I used to be. I like that. That's good, yeah. That's a really Temptation good. too strong and I way too far gone. I'm am here to I fight. Any stronger? I any stronger? What? How did I? I am I any stronger than I used to be? I like that. Temptation. I forgot the line. Temptation. Too strong and I'm way too far. Temptation. Too strong and I'm. But then we say strong twice. That's the only thing. I don't know if it really matters. Temptation. Too strong and I way too far gone. Am I? Am I any stronger than? I don't, I don't like rhyming the same. You could. Rhyme in the same. What? What if you used the word weak instead of saying I'm not as strong? What if you just went and said, like, I'm. Temptation strong. Temptation too strong. Am I way too far gone? Am I way. I. I guess I'm weaker than I used to be. I guess I'm weaker than I used to be. I'm weaker than I was last week. Too strong and I'm way too far gone and temptation too strong and I'm way too far gone. Am I any weaker than I used to be? Am I any weaker than I used to be? I 
think I guess I'm weaker than I used to be. I guess I'm weak. Yeah, I like that too. I forgot to guess. A uh, temptation too strong, am I way too far gone? I guess that I'm weaker than I used to be. Um. Man, you can get right into the chorus after that. <laughs> but I, I, the only thing, the only issue I'm having here with the, with the verse well, lines I is we're saying I can't break and now we broke. So we might be changing the chorus lines. Mm. So if we're weaker than we used to be, we're breaking here at this point. Yeah. Well, maybe we just change this, the line of the second chorus. So I'm saying we'd have to oh, do, we'd okay, have yeah, to do yeah, that yeah. to, to yeah, make it that. make sense, which, I, which I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Yeah. Let's write the rest of this verse and see where that goes. Um, I, honestly, I, I like Margo's idea. I think that we can go right in the chorus after this. Yeah. Well, I was thinking the second half of this, I would go like up. Um, so then... Temptation too strong, am I way too far gone? I guess that I'm weaker than I used to be. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. that, that totally works there. <clears throat> or you could even use that as the bridge, though, too. So it's. But I do like it. Oh, that's bad. true. I don't know. It can, it can go both ways. Yeah. You know? I guess it depends on how long we want the song to be. I think with the way you're doing it, though, it is pretty, like, with especially with the tempo of it, it's probably not going to be that much longer. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I think, it's, it's I think catchy, we should keep, too. It's yeah. Like the whole thing is so catchy. Like, I wouldn't mind it going on for a little yeah. bit longer. I think we should do two. Because I think if we do two one. Two songs? No, no. Yes. <laughs> 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 if we do... uh one like the half like half of it i think that should be in the first verse so then the second we add an element you know what i'm saying so like kind of i mean of you could i mean we well, could do the uh i'm breaking my own rules playing me a fool am i stronger than i used to be chorus and then take that questions of doubt race and and drop that down here in the second verse and that's where you could go up into the chorus again does that make sense yeah I think this yeah. this this word would work if we shifted it down there. Do you want to try it? Do you want to see if you can go right into the chorus from yeah. those first lines and see how it feels? Let me actually. I'm gonna try the sec. I'm gonna try this the second verse first. Okay. Do you uh, need me to write it again? No. No. Temptation too strong. Am I way too far gone? I guess that I'm weaker than I used to be. Questions. Should I go up? Questions of doubt, raising booze, chasing clout. Oh, fucking clout. <laughs> Questions of doubt, raising booze, chasing hope, draining out of my own mind, my own mind. Yeah, I feel like that would work after. I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Am I stronger than I used to be? I feel like it just needs though. I, I feel like we should do two and two. In my head it like needs to it needs to be two. Could that not be a pre chorus? Could we not sing it twice? Is it catchy enough? I think questions about racing, booze chasing, hope draining on my mind, my oh my. It's like a pre chorus. It could be in both of them. Yeah, we should change it up a little like slightly though. Like he said, like switch the booze draining, hope chasing. Question. I, I don't want to. What if the second verse was the first verse? I'm weaker than I used to be. And then you're stronger. I mean, you don't want to be hopeful again. I, I like uh, I liked if you switch those up. I also have this like. Um, dang, I had, I had a phrase in my head with the word reality in it. Is this my mm. reality or something like that? I kind of forgot it though. Is uh, this my reality? Yeah, something like along those lines of things. Whatever. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> Okay, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> uh, just a thought. You said reality. Like, you got uh, out of my own mind, my own oh my. Reality sets in. I'm giving in. That could be the one of those little tags at the end of that chorus. Sets in, I'm giving in. Reality sets in, and I'm giving in. And then... All you would have to do to change the, the chorus is say, but. 
I can't break. Boom. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But I, I can't break. Yeah, because then it's like, it's like hopeful, but like not in a, like a lame way. <laughs> that inspirational. All yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. I think we're, so we're, let's, let's, I think we need to take a second and look at this. And yeah, we'll come I, back I to agree. It. Let's, I let's, agree. Wait, let's, I want to rewrite all this too. So let's take the second to do okay. that and then we'll try to jangle this together and come back with two verses. We'll be right back. All right. So we, uh, we buttoned up that verse, uh, changed some lyrics in that, uh, second half of it. Uh, Jenny's going to play through mm-hmm. that verse two and the chorus, and then we're going to work on, uh, just verse two in the chorus. Yeah, Bet. and then we'll work on the first three slash bridge, which we like to call here on the podcast the bridge. The bridge, bruh. Okay. Or the verse. <laughs> okay, verse two. Temptation too strong, and I way too far gone. I guess I'm a little weaker than I used to be. No answers found all my troubles I'm drowning in the bottom of a bottle I'm a fraud and I'm afraid I'm a fraud and I'm afraid I can't break, it got me shaking I'm down onto my knees Begging keys, baby, don't you fool around on me Cause I ain't got no time With my eyes open wide Please don't shake me, I'm not breaking I just hope that I survive the night Night, oh the night Something like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is sick. Yeah, so I like I like how, you know, you think you've done before, but how you do that run. And I think, so I was looking at what we wrote for on the break about the eyes open wide. That we put that on the bridge, but it's also in the chorus already. Are you the second? So you, you, you can actually hand, hand me the paper now if you want to. Perfect. Oh, yeah. It is so, in the chorus. I forgot. Which. Uh, you know, we couldn't, I mean, since it's a, a, a bridge, you could repeat those lines wouldn't hurt you or we can come up with something completely new but what i was saying was i do like how you are running that and like one of the songs that i have coming out standing here pretty soon i cut the last line in the chorus Mm. and made it the line into the bridge so like the way it goes is uh the 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 hook is like i I don't want to take this life for granted Mm -hmm. stuck where i'm standing so the bridge i said I don't want to take this life for granted. So now I'm standing here in front of you like I twisted the line in to bring me into the mm-hmm. bridge. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. But when you were doing that run, I was like, there might be a cool way to use night and bring the night into the bridge and just have that run roll right into mm-hmm. that bridge. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say the night. So like the night could be the first. I'm getting like haunting vibes. So yeah. like the night, like ghosts and ghouls. Like I don't know. I was thinking like the night is a scary place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. What am I to do? Like. <laughs> what am I to do? Why are all these ghouls? In- no. <laughs> I'm saying you could you could pose a few questions in that bridge and then go right into the chorus. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the night. Why is the night so much harder to fight? The During the days so I feel all right. Night so much harder to fight. Night so much harder to fight. But the days are in. That, that was just a, a general rhyme, but the days days feel all right. What did I? Uh, 
So much easier to lose. What am I to do? So much easier to lose. What did you say? What am I to do? The night's so much harder to lose, or so much harder to lose. What am I to do? So I got. I don't want to say got nothing to lose. I've, it sounds like it would sound right phonetically there, but I don't think those are the right lyrics. At night, and what? What am I to do? Is just what I'm. I don't know. It's just what come is coming out. So I, I like. It doesn't have to. So be I that. like at the end of the chorus how you do that run. Don't change that at all. But I'm saying towards the end of one of those, you cut that the night instead of like having that run. That'd be the first line. So the night would be the first line in the the yeah yeah the bridge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah yeah. I get do, so I get what you're saying. Where like how should I do like the night 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 fades dark night. Night so much hot. Night is so much hot. Yeah, I think we should go half into halftime. Yeah. We should go to halftime. Night yeah. feels so much harder. I am. Night feels so much harder. I just stop and start again. Night feels so much harder. Why do I stop? And start again. Is that good? What do you guys think about that? I was thinking instead of like the halftime is cool, but I would say maybe just hold the chord out, just strum it one, you know? So you can get a little bit more like intimate with the vocal there. Night, what am I to do? Like that? Yeah. Night, what am I? to do like what did i say what am i to do night. i like to stop and start oh, again night. Right. so much harder why do i stop and start again when i reach the end something like ending you can do night. so much harder why do i why I feel so much harder why do I stop and start again and again what about again like, and keep it really again. simple like why do I stop and start again I just want the nonsense to end what about just again and again stop and start again and again pause just wanna, yeah I just, like I like let it the, flow. Some of the idea, like I like that you can double it up, but like I just want, th I feel like I'm leaning towards that last line being like, I just want it all to end. Yeah. Like. Yeah, but that sounds like I'm suicidal, and I'm not like, you know what I mean? Well, the whole thing you're talking about, you're just struggle. I think you want yeah. the struggle to end. I think in in the context, yeah. Hmm. Stop and start. Feel so much well, what about I saying something? Like, obviously, stop and start again. that's like I I don't. The how, how about putting I the word bending? The end. Yeah. Like the the I don't know. I feel like I just, I just want, want the bending. I want the bending to end. Why? Wait. Night feels so much harder. Why? Why do I stop and start again? I just want the band to end. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I want the bend to end. That's a nice yeah. little. Feel so much harder. But the night feels so much harder. Why do I stop and start again? I just want the bend to end. Oh. Remain, remain empty hearted. All I want is. I like the. How about something like tomorrow? I'll regret it all. Remain empty. 
empty hearted Tomorrow I'll regret it all again Tomorrow But tonight I'll do the best I can Remain empty hearted Tomorrow Remain empty hearted again What did I say? Remain <laughs> empty hearted Tomorrow Remain empty hearted Tomorrow What did you say about tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll regret it yeah, Or tomorrow I'll regret it all Oh, tomorrow how about how I'll regret it all. How about Remain empty hearted Tomorrow it all come Tomorrow it all starts again And I regret the what did you say? What was the last, last line? You said the tomorrow, and then there was another line that you said after that. Dude, I always be forgetting, man. <laughs> remain empty-hearted tomorrow. I feel like, remain empty-hearted all the time. But tomorrow, it kind of is, there. I have to say the tum first. Tomorrow, I'll Remain empty hearted tomorrow I'll regret it. Yeah, that works. Remain empty hearted tomorrow I'll regret it all again. Uh I'll regret it all we have, we have again. We have again in the lines before. Fuck. Yeah, so we had I oh, feel sweet. so much harder. Why do I stop and start again? I just want the bend to end. Like I feel like you could stop right there, but it seems like you want to go higher. I, I keep hearing the the word started too. Using remain empty hearted something. How it started. Whatever. If you can work that. I thought well, that. I said stop and start already. Oh, you did. Yeah. 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 What was the? the first I one? feel so much harder. Why do I stop and start again? I just want the bend to end. I feel so much harder. Why do I? That's your, you can go higher on that right there. The night feels so much harder. Why do I just stop and start? It? The night feels so much harder. Why do I stop and start again? I just want the bend to end. I can't break, got me. You can go right back into the car. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. I see again. I feel like there needs to be two, but I don't know if that's just like my head in a like linear path of like in a rut where I'm like it needs to be two, but I don't know if it really needs to be two. You know what I mean? I think we take a second and just kind of play through the whole thing, see how long it is, see if it needs anything else. I think we st we need to play it start to end with what we got right now okay. and see where, how you feel about it. Do you want to take a second to do that? Or you want to do it? No, I'll just do it right now. Free shot? All right, let me write, let me write the, those lines down for you then. Okay. You can talk about whatever you want to right now. You got the mic. How do you guys feel about the economic state of the world? No, I'm uh, just kidding. <laughs> what about airline food? How about that airline food? <laughs> well, how about that airline food? I can't do a Jerry Seinfeld impression <laughs> at all. Seinfeld was like such a staple. I it love still Seinfeld. is. It's such a staple in my house. I ate in the restaurant where that no idea shit. was conceived. They have a little plaque on the wall. Oh, like, that's oh, sick. Jerry Seinfeld. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, I forgot to mention this before. Uh, I had it in the notes about myself. Um, my whole fam, and I also feel like this is a. I don't know if this is just in my head as a New Jersey thing, but my whole family. I was born in New Jersey. My whole family is from there. We moved out here when I was like three months old. Um, and we're the only, like, it's like if your family is all from Germany and your family is like the only one, they, your family, your immediate family moved here, it feels like, like, New, like I, Illinois is great. I, I like Illinois, having a good time here. But New Jersey is just like, that's the motherland, you know? Yeah. That's like. I like Jersey. I frequent there oh. a lot. I, Such I, a good uh, place. Who is it? Uh, is it Joey Ramone is buried in? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, he's like 15 minutes from, like literally from New York City. So oh, really? Is the guy from, oh, really? from NSYNC? <laughs> I was like, I is thought you were serious for a second. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I just saw a video of those five guys today. I think they're still alive. Burgers and fries, man. 
Um, but anyway, uh, New Jersey, that's like, I love, and this place actually remind, like, as I was, I was like kind of driving through that forest. It totally looks like Jersey. That little like portion of the East coast is beautiful. So yeah. pretty, man. It's beautiful. That's where my mom, my mom grew up in, um, in that area. I think it's Morris County, um, Hackettstown, Long Valley, that area. Um, and my dad grew up like, you know, everybody knows Paramus. I don't think I, I Bergen mean, County, Emerson. Oh, Emerson. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's my dad. My dad lived in Emerson. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so my dad's from like the, the like Jerseyest part of Jersey, like Jersey. the asshole part of Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're, my dad's side of, of our family is Italian. So we're like New Jersey yeah, yeah, Italian, yeah. which is like, Classic. Oh my God! <laughs> it's like the, the Jersey Shore Italians. <laughs> no, no, no. The Jersey Shore. That's like Jersey Shore is like. Oh, they're such a different. I don't even know what they are. They just. They're bros. Yeah, yeah they're apparently. total bros. <laughs> they are bros. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like a huge part of me is New Jersey. We went back there like every year when I was a kid. I've never been. Oh, you gotta go, man. I will. It's, it's they one got of the few places I haven't been uh, for my travel. When I traveled before I started playing music, I was. I think there's like nine states I haven't been to. Yeah. Everybody like everybody is like an asshole, but in the most like, oh I love it. Like I just love it. Sincere. We, I went to visit my cousin and we were we were in Jersey City walking around and we were out drinking and she overheard she was like eavesdropping on some conversation. And she was like, I'm e- totally eavesdropping, but like what do you it was like some gossip. What are you guys talking about? Like that seems so interesting. And the lady was just like uh, we're talking about something that isn't really any of your business. And I was like, yes, like, yes, just say it how it is, man. <laughs> just, I literally was like, thank you. That is so, I'm from Illinois and that is so refreshing to hear. Thank you. Mind your own business. <laughs> um, Mind your own business, Sal. All right. Back to the main focus, the song. Yeah, so you got verse one, chorus on the right, two, chorus, and then the bridge and then chorus. And we'll see where we're at after that. I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Am I stronger than I used to be? Questions of doubt, raising booze, chasing hope, draining out of my own mind, my own mind. I can't break, it got me shaking, I'm down onto my knees. Begging, please, baby, don't you fool around on me Cause I ain't got no time With my eyes open wide so please don't shake me, I'm not breaking I just hope that I survive the night Night, oh, the night Temptation too strong, am I waiting? Too far gone, I guess I'm a little weaker than I used to be. No answers found, all my troubles, I'm drowning in the bottom of a bottle. I'm a fraud and I'm afraid, I'm a fraud and I'm afraid. I can't break, you got me shaking, I'm down onto my knees. Begging, please, baby, don't you fool around on me. Cause I ain't got no time With my eyes open wide So please don't shake me on my break And I just hope that I survive the night Like this? Yeah Night, night feels How did that, I honestly forget how it went Night feels so much harder Night feels so much harder I feel so much harder Why do I stop and start again? I just want the band to end I feel like it needs I, I feel like, it, yes, halftime, but we can't slow it down You know what I'm saying? Or not can't, but like I feel like Like tempo-wise? Yeah, like the yeah, tempo that was, stay yeah, the same I didn't mean to like, do that Okay, okay Yeah Um Night feels so much harder Night feels so much harder Why do I stop and start again? 
I just want the band to end oh. Um, I really like that. What if at the end of that, because you end on what, the E minor? Oh, are you going off there? Well, I was ending on the E minor, but I just... I was going to say for that, what if you, you know, B and then end on the E minor and then just go to E flat minor for that last, like, hit or whatever? Mm. It's so much harder, why do I stop? My feels so much harder, why do I stop and start again? I just want the pen to end. That? Yeah. How about eight? You could do a seven, yeah. Yeah. I feel so much harder. Why do I stop and start again? I just want the pen to. Might be getting a little so too ambitious. Yeah. I just wanted to build this a little bit of tension Stop before you go back to the chorus. Yeah. I feel so much harder. Why do I stop and start again? I just want the pen to end. I'm not as uh, as big a fan as I thought I would be, but. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're just changing up. Like. And I, just, I just want the pen to end. What are you going down to? That uh, the, the C sharp. Yeah. Or I guess I would be going. I wanted to go up here anyway. Yeah. But I'm playing a C sharp seven down here. Dude, that's a big bug. Is that a grasshopper? Oh, that's sick. It's a leaf bug. It's going to bite you. I don't see anything. It's on the computer, on the edge. Oh. Yeah, dude, that thing's massive. For reference, it's like as long as my pinky. I think I think with that though with that bridge though and that chorus, I think that's enough song, right? Enough song. <laughs> like enough no, I'm just saying does it does it need song is does, enough. does it need more? Yeah, we could also like post this post podcast put like some sort of instrumental in there like where there's no singing that's what i was kind of thinking it. too like because i feel like the the bridge is good but it almost feels like it should be played slower like how you're doing it and yeah. i almost feel like maybe we're kind of forcing it in there in a little bit of a way you know yeah it, might it, be feels, worth it. it does feel a little forced yeah this i feel like it might be one of those songs where it's like instead of having a at, at this point, I'm thinking of instead of like a real bridge, maybe it is that instrumental part like you're talking and just maybe have a lead playing the, the melody of the verse or the chorus, you know, yeah. and then you can go. Well, I do like I do like this part. I think. Well, I think I, I like it. Com I like how it just kind of gives you a tempo change. Yeah. And then you, you could have an instrumental after that it where you're just like playing like through solo. something with like a little bit of a lead. And then you go right back in the last first one last time. And then you're done after that. And you can maybe come up with an outro, but I think you just, I just really like how you, you do the, the runs at the end of that. You just do that a couple times and then maybe just say, I just hope I survive the night at the end. And then that's your last line and then whatever send offs you want to do with instrumentals and stuff. But I think that that bridge is like really nice because you have all this, this up tempo and that just kind of brings you, just pulls you in and then you have like a nice instrumental that, you know, Compliments the song and then one final chorus, and then you're done. You think you want to break for a second, kind of figure that out? Or? Sure, yep. yeah, we can do it. All right. All right. So we decided that we have accomplished what we needed to. We uh, have some ideas <coughs> for the production of this song, but you're going to have to tune in when that's done and listen to it. Uh, for now, we're going to play through what we have. Well, Jenny's going to play through what we have, and I'm going to. Sing along with her, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm, I, I, that's it. I'm breaking my own rules, playing me a fool. Am I stronger than I used to be? 
questions of doubt raising booze chasing hope draining out of my own mind my own mind Cause I can't break it got me shaking I'm down onto my knees begging please baby don't you fool around on me Cause I ain't got no time with my eyes open wide Please don't shake me, I'm not breaking I just hope that I survive the night The night, oh the night Temptation too strong and I'm way too far gone I guess I'm a little weaker than I used to be no answers found all my troubles I'm drowning in the bottom of the bottle I'm a fraud and I'm afraid I'm a fraud and I'm afraid I can't break it, got me shaking I'm down onto my knees Begging please, baby, don't you fool around on me Cause I ain't got no time With my eyes open wide Please don't shake me, I'm not breaking I just hope that I survive the night I feel so much harder Why do I stop and start again? I just want the bend to end I can't break, you got me shaking Down onto my knees Begging, please, baby, don't you fool around on me, oh Cause I ain't got no time with my eyes open wide So please don't shake me, I'm not breaking I just hope that I survive the night Survive the I think we should actually end the song like that. That's dope. I like it a lot. Yeah. That was awesome. Da, 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 da. That was perfect. A little snare from it. Gotta, gotta. Yeah. Big, big that reverb was, tail. Gotta, yeah. gotta. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Ricotta? Like ricotta, ricotta cheese? Well, I was going. Oh. Ricotta, gotta. But yeah, ricotta cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Ragut. That's what we call really it in my quick. family. Ragut. Ragut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was what? awesome. Fuck that yeah. That was amazing. Thank you for hanging out with me, Jenny. Please Dude, take, check you. out. Jenny and all her socials. Uh, why don't you say them one more time? Uh, oh, yeah. I got all of them. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, but I never use it. Threads, low-key, I have one. Nobody uses that. That new one that's like Twitter. I do. You use threads? Sometimes. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Instagram. Okay, so my name is Jenny Scara. J-E-N-N-Y-S-C-A-R-A. Like mascara. Um... My Instagram is JennyScara underscore eight six, my old soccer number. Um, same with my TikTok, uh, Facebook. I don't have a Facebook page. I have a Facebook profile, so you can add me as a friend if you want. I might accept it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but follow me on Instagram for sure. And then I'm on like my streaming is on everything. So wherever you get your fix, I have it. So Sweet. I think I think I do. Uh-huh. And we'll put these all down in the uh the bio. Uh, yeah. wherever you're you're watching at. Thanks to Marco for running sound again. Michelle. Couldn't do it without you, man. Yeah. Thank you to uh Broken Record Music Club mm-hmm. for uh helping me and Jenny out Take her to the all label. the time. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> and uh Lucky Money Entertainment down in Nashville for also being a sponsor of the podcast. Hell yeah. And uh thank you for coming to the park bench. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I had a pleasure pleasure doing it. Yeah, and thank uh, you for having me. Of also, course. thank you. Of course, appreciate it. You'll see Jenny again, and uh, yeah. we'll get this song out to you soon. And uh, take care. See you next time at the park bench. Bye. I was at the bottom of the ocean with nowhere to go. You were angry when I stole my heart back and let you go. But how the good times roll back now that I.